Yeah, you know, it's certainly interesting. This year has once again been the year of U.S. exceptionalism. Uh, you know, as you noted, from a COVID perspective, the U.S. is once again leading the charge. Uh, vaccine rollout has improved dramatically since the start of the year. Uh, we've seen better COVID cases or better trends, generally speaking. Uh, of course, when you think about China and North Asia, they were probably ahead of us by three to six months. And perhaps Europe and, you know, the rest of the world is behind us now by three to six months. Um, but in the near term, we're certainly focused on U.S. assets, and we've seen that as well. Uh, there's really been this flight to safety to not only U.S. equities, uh, U.S. fixed income, but also the U.S. dollar, and we're seeing that reflected as well. Keep in mind, when we came into the year, a lot of people thought the dollar downtrend would continue. In fact, it's stabilized, and it's even up 2 to 3 percent year to date. Part of that is because of these COVID trends. Um, we would say over time, though, we do think there's a catch-up trade to be had in Europe. Uh, we're certainly watching their vaccine rollout closely. Um, when they do get their act together, we think there's some interesting value opportunities opportunities there for sure. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.